My first stop today was the Gyu Monastery, home of a 500 year old mummy, and from there to Tabo. Oh look, my first water crossing on this trip. Mm, no wait, that was Pune. As I left Nako, the road was smooth, but it got worse soon, making me homesick, reminding me of Bangalore. With the mountains for company though, the landscape remained beautiful throughout. The texture on the mountain kept changing, reminding me of road rash, the Pacific location. Without a police officer on a bike to kick though. I reached Sumno check post in an hour. It was the meeting point of the rivers Parchu and Spiti. They took down my name and vehicle number at the check post and I continued ahead. To reach the Gyu Monastery, you have to take a detour around halfway between Nako and Tabo. It's around 10 to 15 kilometers away from the turn. The road is even more remote, but surprisingly well maintained. You don't see any human settlements till you get really close to the monastery. This is the new monastery that they are constructing. The mummy, however, is in this little structure right by the monastery. The place had some eerie vibes because of the presence of the mummy and absence of people. And I blame Brendan Fraser for making me feel that way. Meri mummy yada gai. You can read in detail about the Gyu mummy here. As I prepared to leave, I met this person visiting the place. His name is Sunil, he is from Bangalore and he was riding a bicycle from Shimla through Spiti all the way till Manali on his own. Inspirational story that. His Instagram handle is in the description below. Do give him a follow.
the sky was blue so was the river and in between it was all yellow yaske sorry got carried away I reached Tabo and found a hotel called Siddharth Guest House. After dumping my stuff in the room, I went off to explore the place. There are caves in the mountains near Tabo which were supposedly used for meditation by monks during winters. The place provided a magnificent view of Tabo village and an amazing sunset too. I could see the Tabo monastery from the caves but I decided to visit the place tomorrow and stayed back at the caves for some time. I started walking back to the hotel and on the way I made new friends. That's all from this episode. Next episode will be from Dhankar. Drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video or dislike if you didn't. Share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more of this pity ride. And I'll leave you with my first picture on this ride. Thank you for watching.